Let's Talk About Race by Julius Lester, illustrated by Karen Barber. Let's talk about race. For Malcolm, Hillary, Paige, and Teddy. For Daisy, Jasper, and Nick. I am a story, and so are you. So is everyone. My story begins the same way yours does. I was born on, take me for example. I was born on January 27th, 1939 in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm kind of old, huh? <laughs> How does your story begin? Many people and many events are part of my story and yours too. The names of our parents and where they were born, whether or not we have brothers and sisters. I had a brother who was nine years older than me, but now he is dead. What kind of work our parents do or did. My father was a minister and my mom was a housewife. My story and yours have many elements, such as our favorite food, mine is fish, hobbies, I like to do crossword puzzles, take photographs, and cook. Favorite colors. I like red or maybe green, but I also like orange and purple too. <laughs> I think my favorite color is all of them. Um, or religion. I'm Jewish. Nationality. I'm from the United States. And favorite time of day. Night. Oh, and there's something else that's part of my story. It's part of yours too. And that's what race we are. I am black. What race are you? Just as I am a story and you are a story and countries tell stories about themselves, race is a story too. Whether you're black like me or Asian or Hispanic or white, each race and ethnicity has a story about itself. And that story is almost always the same. My race is better than your race. Some stories are true and some are not. Those who say my race is better than your race are telling a story that is not true. Why would some people say their race is better than another? Because they feel bad about themselves or because they're afraid or just because. But there are other ways all of us, even me, even you, think we're better than others. I'm better than you because I live in XYZ place. Or I'm better than you because I go to XYZ school. I'm better than you because I'm a boy. Or I'm better than you because I'm a girl. I'm better than you because my dad or mom makes more money than your dad or mom. I'm better than you because I'm white. Well, I'm better than you because I'm black. I'm better than you because I'm Hispanic. I'm better than you because I'm Asian. Guess what? None of these stories are true, are they? No one is better than anyone else. I want to tell you a true story, but I need your help. Here's what I want you to do. Take your fingers and press them softly against the skin right below your eyes. Be careful now. Don't poke yourself in the eye. Though. Okay now. Press gently until you feel the hard bone right underneath the surface. Now, if your mom or dad or brother or somebody you know well is close by, ask if you can touch them. If they say, okay, take your fingers and press softly at that same place beneath their eye. Press gently until you feel the hard bone right underneath the skin. Now press someplace else on your body on your arm or your chest or your head. Press anywhere until you feel the hard bones beneath your skin. Beneath everyone's skin are the same hard bones. If you go outside without your skin on and without your hair on your head, turn the page and see what you might look like. Yeah, you might look like this. But do you wanna know something? If I went outside without my skin, my mustache and the hair on my head, what little I have left, 
I would look just like you and you would look just like me. Suppose, just suppose one day we, I mean, everybody in the whole world, decided to take off all of our clothes and all of our skin and all of our hair. Then we would do what we do normally every day. Go to school, go to work, play, go shopping. Everything would be normal, except we would look at each other and couldn't tell who was a man, who was a woman, who was white, who was black, Hispanic, or Asian. Which story should we believe? The one that says, my race is better than yours? Or the one we just discovered for ourselves? Beneath our skin, I look like you and you look like me. And she looks like her and him, and he looks like him and her, and we look like them and they look like us. When I look at you, what story do I see? Do I see only the color of your skin, the shape of your eyes, the texture of your hair? Do I look at you and think I know your story when I don't even know your name? Or do I look at you and wonder, what's your name? Where were you born? When were you born? Where do you live? What do you like? What don't you like? Gee, maybe we like and dislike some of the same things. Your race is not all that you are. My race is not all that I am. Yes, I am black, but I'm also a man. I'm a man of medium height and I have a deep voice and a loud laugh. I love to laugh, do you? I live in a big house in the woods in a small town. I like pancakes, macaroni and cheese, and I'm also so many things beside my race. To know my story, you have to put together everything I am. Like, I bet you didn't know I have asthma. Beneath the skin, we all look alike, you and me. I'll take off my skin. Will you take off yours? The end.